Hey guys, welcome back. We're in the welding shop today and we got a pretty cool project ahead of us we're gonna try to put together. I got these parts here uh, off of eBay. They came in the mail the other day and it's supposed to be a precision welding square, a fixture square, a fab square. Uh, there's a handful of different names for it. It's meant to be compatible with this welding table. It's got five base holes every two on center with some slotting um, for different you know, fixturing and setting up and everything else like that. The laser cut parts. So they're supposed to be super precise and, you know, work with the precision of the table to give you the best possible results in fitting your pieces, squaring parts, things like that. So we're gonna see how precise we can get it and how precise we think these parts were produced and go from there. So to show you a little better how these parts go together and they're put up, um, you have uh, two different patterns here. Um, I guess it doesn't matter which way you put them, but the flats go out towards the 45 angle. So they fit in with each other like that. They have this cut here, so they lock in, as well as the cuts on the plate here. So they lock in, it already feels pretty tight. There's a little bit of slop, it's not perfect, perfect, but manageable, I think. And then uh, to complete the square, you put the top piece on. And then all you really need to do with these squares is you just fill in each of these slots with a tack weld. And then if you want to, you can flip on the inside. I can do this and do the, the same thing right on the opposing side of where the external tack was. You can do the four spots in there. And that should be all you really need to do to, to weld this together. It doesn't take much. Um, you're not really supposed to be pounding on these things. It's just supposed to be a precision fixturing square. Um, so, so far it looks pretty good. I mean, there's a little wiggle. They don't snap in super, super tight, but Hopefully that comes out pretty good. Looks pretty good, just as loose parts. So we'll get uh, some the fixture and clamps and everything like that and um, try to lay it on this table, get it clamped down the best we can. down pretty good. I ran my square all the way around it trying to check every point that I could to make sure that it is uh, perfect. Um, so we're gonna set up the welder, tack weld it, and hope for the best, see what happens. So we got a tack welded. When we put two on top on each corner and then inside the corners, one and two. So we're gonna check it out, see how square it is. Here it is so far. We'll check it out and see how it is. So far it looks pretty good, surprisingly. <laughs> I 
Okay. Still 90. So I'm pretty impressed with how it came out so far. I'm gonna get it clamped back down to the table and finish tacking it and all of its cutout points. So we'll get that done. So I finished tack welding it. I hit all the, the cutouts for the tack welds on the outside and inside. I just put in the top and then two in the bottom. And I think that's gonna be good enough. We're not gonna beat on it or anything. Um, so that'll keep it sturdy. But I am very impressed with how this turned out. I pulled out the, the fine measuring instruments and I got the 11,000th shim. And using this Empire 90 square, which isn't precise to 11,000ths, I'm sure, but for the sake of this video, I'm using that shim and it does not go through at all. Flipping it over, Up top, does not. In the middle, it does. But back to the bottom, it doesn't. That could be for me setting it up on the table. See, oh, down the bottom it does. And not up top. Barely there in the middle and back in the bottom. But I'm super impressed that this came together with 11 thousandths off on one face. The other face is <laughs> so good. So finished product, super impressed. And it'd be a nice tool to use around the shop. When we ordered these, we actually got two sets. So I decided to throw another one together and we got some better results. I honestly think that it's just kind of operator error. The tolerances we get with these things, it's pretty impressive how well they're cut and built. So. All right, I built another one and this one actually came out better than the first one. I got a look. A little bit at seven thousandths. Flip this over. Which is paper thin. And it just slips under until it hits that lower plate. Probably just didn't fit it up the best. Same thing right down. But I can't get anything thicker in there. And it doesn't even go in there. And then up the vertical. On one side, it's tight all the way. I actually can't even get that in there. A little, but it grabs. And then the top, nothing. Flip it over. Get that square to itself. And then tight, tight. So, and then just on the top. Super impressed with it. Really good cuts. Thing came out awesome. Exceeded my expectations. Um, and we're gonna try to make some more of our own in the shop. 